Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going to do a video walk around at customer request of this really interesting vehicle. This is a Fiat 500 X Lounge Edition, so it's the larger version, the four doors. Um, pretty unique vehicle, that's for sure. Really cool with this color and it's got some red on the interior to match. So we're just going to do a nice walk around and show the condition of this one. So we'll start from this side since we're right here. So body lines on both sides are nice and straight. There's no dents or real big dings or anything like that. It's got a good set of winter tires all the way around with good tread. A little 500 emblem on the wheel, that's kind of nifty. Going down the side here, we've got a little scratch right there. A little bit of kind of just a paint scuff right there. Very light though on that one. Um, that's about it for that side, nothing major. If you look over on the roof, you've got the roof racks, which is a really nice addition to have. Swinging around the backside here. It's a little wet because it was just outside and it's pouring down rain here in good old Oregon. You got your 500X there on the back, Fiat. Uh, backside's in pretty good shape overall. You've just got a couple real light, you know, little kind of scratches right there. Uh, a few little nicks and scratches back here. Um, that's pretty common to have on the back of a vehicle there on the, I guess, trunk deck or whatever you want to call that. And then we'll swing around this side. This side's nice and straight as well, as you can see. Again, good set of tires here. A couple tiny little chips right there. You can, you can't even quite focus on them properly. There we go. All right. Other than that, looks pretty darn good on the driver's side. You've got one little scratch here, or kind of two, right above the fender there. Wheels are all in good shape. There's no curb rash on those, which is nice. And then swinging back around to the front here. The front, on the hood, you've got one little paint blemish. That might even be able to buff out. Um, and then you've got a couple small little chips, like that, that. Just real tiny stuff, normal things that you would find on, you know, a car that's seven years old with 78, almost 80,000 miles. Uh, along the front here, you've got just a little bit more, you know, you can see right there, the you know, little chip right there. So going along, obviously the front takes the most beating. You know, just little, little spots, kind of unavoidable things. But again, nothing major. Overall, it's in definitely really nice shape. We're gonna hop in the inside and check out this cool interior. All right, so there's your uh, door panel on this side. Got a huge opening for a cup or water bottle down there. The seats, kind of a two-tone like black and charcoal almost. A little 500 emblem there. Hop in and you've got this really bright paint matched interior really ties it all in that looks nice kind of a funky looking interior and their layout but you know that's just kind of how these vehicles are they're funky but that's why people like them so you've got all your controls here all your light switches and whatnot a little screen up in here climate controls gear selector drive mode selector so you've got you know like dynamic mode kind of a thing and then you've got inclement weather and standard driving Two keys come with this bad boy. Got your Chrysler style key, of course. And then headliner looks pretty nice as well. No tears or staining on that. Back seats look great. Really hardly anywhere at all back there. So there's a quick look at the interior. Looks phenomenal. I would say probably an easy nine out of 10 on the interior and uh, probably an eight and a half on the exterior there. So, really good condition, interesting vehicle for sure. We don't get these in very often, they're kind of hard to find, but when we do, man, they sell quick. So, I hope y'all enjoyed watching this. Stay tuned for more stuff, like and subscribe, all that good stuff if you want, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.